Hi there. My name is Elizabeth Ishola, the president and founder of Women on the Cheshire Floor International Ministry. I have a strong passion to help you live again, to help you become all that God has created you to be. So no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation you find yourself right now, I came here to say to you today that you can live again. You can enjoy life again. You can become all that God has created you to be. Thank you for tuning in for another encouraging and transforming message. I am sure you will be blessed. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification button to get notified whenever I come online. Don't forget to like and share this video. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Today I'll be dealing with the topic of rejection. I want you to know that Satan uses the pain of rejection from other people to keep you from pursuing God's will. If there is anything the devil wants to do to you, he wants to stop you from fulfilling purpose. He wants to stop you from becoming all that God has created you to be. So one of his tools is rejection. When people reject you, you may not want to keep doing what you are supposed to do. You may want to find a place to hide, a place to nurse your wounds. But I came here to say to you today, don't, don't, don't look for a place to hide when you are rejected. Don't look for a place to nurse your wounds when you are rejected. Raise your head up and keep moving forward. No matter what or no matter who rejects you, no matter who approves of you, no matter who tries to stop you, be determined in your heart to keep moving forward. Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ, dealt with the issue of rejection in Matthew chapter 10 from verse 5 to 14. He warned his disciples that some people will reject them and he told them how to handle that rejection. And that should be our example, that should be our guide and that should be our need. That scripture says, and whoever will not receive, whoever will not accept, whoever will not welcome you, nor listen to you. He said, as you leave that house or town, shake the dust off your feet and leave. What does it mean? They were to shake off the re rejection and go. So if anyone has ever rejected you, if you feel rejected, Shake off the rejection and move forward. When everyone around you rejects you, be determined not to give up on your assignments or purpose. I remember one time, I don't know, she may be listening to this. We were in GS2 in secondary school. And I don't know what happened, but everybody just decided we're not going to speak to this particular friend of mine. And we stopped talking to her. We stopped relating with her. You know, anytime I look back at that time of our lives, I just keep wondering why we did that to this friend. And we were not talking to her. We were not playing with her, you know, play uh, in quotes. We we're not. But guess what? That year, she came out very excellent in her academics. What did she do? She shook off that rejection. She shook off that pain and focused on why she was in school. And at the end of the day, she did much better than most of us. What am I trying to say? If only you can focus on your goals, focus on why you are on earth, and stop bothering yourself about what people are saying or what people think of you, then you will become all that God has created you to be, and you will be a joy to many. God wants you to break through the barrier of rejection. God wants you to keep making progress towards your goals. That's what God wants. So they may, they may reject you. They may dislike you for no reason. Don't let that hurt you. Don't let that keep you down. Wake up and become who God has created you to be. I want you to know today that striving for what you want is still a success regardless of whether or not it, 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 it materializes. So if this is what you believe in, strive for it. 
If this is what you want, strive for it. Don't allow rejection to frustrate you out of destiny. So if you have been rejected, it only shows that you have to brace yourself enough and push through and pass any difficulty. Push through any difficulty. Pass through any difficulty. Doing so takes tremendous amount of courage and self-belief. Rejection happens to everyone. There's no one that has not encountered rejection at one stage or the other of their lives. I have encountered rejection in a place that it hurt so deep. And of course, the first thing I wanted to do was to hide. The first thing I wanted to do was to cry. The first thing I wanted to do was to nurse my wounds. But when I remembered what Jesus said, that you should shake off, shake off that dust from your feet, shake off that rejection from your life, I rose up and I began to do things that even those that rejected me are amazed at even up till today. So I want to say to you that even the seemingly most successful people among us would have struggled one time or the other with rejection of some sort. If Opa can pick herself up after getting fired from her first TV job, then you can bounce back from rejection too. Try and know the reasons you were rejected. Find out why you were torn down from that job, why your relationship broke down. Ask for feedback so that you can learn from the experience and be prepared when another opportunity presents itself. So rejection can, can happen. It's not all rejection that are actually negative. Some happen to push you to your next level. Be sensitive. Be sensitive. Experiencing rejections can also be a chance to learn about yourself and what you, know, you want from a relationship. So when you experience re rejection, don't look at it only from the negative view. Ask yourself, what is the need for me to learn? Rejection can be a blow to self-esteem. Yeah, it can be a blow to your confidence. But I want to say to you that you should please avoid becoming too caught up in negative emotions. It does not profit anyone. Having negative emotions and sitting with it has never helped anyone in the journey of life. Rejection will set you up for success in the future. It will, because like that friend of mine that I told you about, what that rejection did to her in the second year of college was that it set her up for greatness. It made her stronger. It made her stronger. So don't shrink because you are rejected. Shake it off and move on. Just shake off that rejection and move on. Rise up. I know it's not easy, but be determined in your heart that you won't sit with that pain. You won't sit with that wound. You will arise and you will shine. There will be a time when the answer is yes. Make sure that you are ready when it comes. Make sure. There will be a time as you are experiencing rejection in your journey of life. You're getting a no, a no from your family, a no from loved ones, a no from even your spouse, a no from your best friend. I'm telling you, a time will come when you will get a yes. And make sure that when that time comes, you are truly, truly ready. We've come to the end of today's topic, and I hope you enjoyed it. I believe you've been touched by today's topic. Please do leave your comments, testimonies on our comment section below. My question to you today is, have you ever experienced rejection? What did you do with it? Or what are you doing with it? Set yourself. Did it turn you into a bitter person or it made you a better person? Do you know you can continue to enjoy these nuggets and words of encouragement by subscribing to my YouTube channel? Please click on the notification button to get notified whenever I come online. Like, share, or drop your thoughts on the comment section. Remember, pray about everything and worry about nothing. Till I come your way again next week. Thank you and God bless you. Ciao.